Welcome once again, as we look at a number of dreams I've had, and explore what they may mean, including some dreams that appear to have come true. I'd love to hear about any of your dreams that seemingly have predicted the future. On the 18th of April 2003, I had a dream in which I was playing a 3D Sonic game, and selected Amy, but when the level loaded, I found I was playing a Shadow in an Emerald Coast-like level, while E102, Big the Cat, and Amy Rose followed me. The dream sounds like Sonic Heroes, which indeed has playable characters Amy, Shadow and Big the Cat, but E123 instead of 102. But when I originally recorded the dream, I made no mention of Sonic Heroes, which was released at the end of 2003 in Japan, and instead I suggested the dream could be Sonic Venture 3, with Shadow leading the good guys. Considering Sonic Heroes was released not that long after my dream, you'd think I would have been aware of the upcoming game. But you have to take into consideration that in the early 2000s, I wasn't online much and would have got most of my gaming news from magazines. So it's possible I wasn't aware of the game, although I do mention Sonic Heroes in my follow-up notes in June 2003 when I realised the connection to my dream. Interestingly, in 2018, it was revealed by a developer that E102 was supposed to be playable in Sonic Heroes, and Shadow wasn't even going to be playable initially. I didn't at first think much of a money-related dream I had on the 3rd of June 2009, in which my dad told me that we owed someone money, something like 78 or £76 he said. Later in the day, however, it was my mum who told my dad for real that the bank had accidentally credited their bank account with £76, which of course they quickly took back. That seems quite a coincidence to dream of the actual amount my parents received in real life, and in the dream owing the money could represent having to give it back, which of course was true. Even though they didn't actually get to keep the money, £76 has no significance to me in terms of its value, so why I dreamed of that amount is puzzling, just as why the bank made such an error. On the 8th of May 2003, I had a dream in which I was playing F-Zero X, and it was 4 player. Oddly, in the dream I also opened a fridge, and found a game gear inside, which was in a box and had a price tag clearly stating £7. In my notes for the dream, I mentioned that the new F-Zero for GameCube, F-Zero GX, would be out soon, but it would only be two-player, by reason that the arcade version would manage four players. In my follow-up notes in July 2003, I noted that Sega announced that the new F-Zero would indeed support four players, so you could say the dream came true, although the dream may have actually been about F-Zero X, which had four-player support. Interestingly, I also talked about getting a Game Gear at a car boot sale, and I know it didn't cost me £7. If you take the 7 you can apply it to Sunday, the day of the week the car boot sale was on, which can be thought of as the 7th day of the week. In addition, I got the Game Gear in July, the 7th month of the year. I had a very short dream on the 29th of March 2007, in which I was walking amongst a crowd in a street, and I heard a female voice called out, Shemu. I remarked to myself that the people looked realistic, as if they were part of a video game rather than from real life. The creator of Shenmue, Yu Suzuki, was interviewed in March 2013, and he mentioned the possibility of making the long-awaited Shenmue 3, an interview that wasn't published until July. Fast forward six years to March 2013, and news emerged that Shenmue 3 became a reality with talks of some sort of crowdfunding. I had another Shenmue dream on the 14th of August 2007, in which I was looking around a car boot sale, and I saw on a table the video game Shenmue 2, and in fact it was the only item on the table. Wanting to know how much the game was to buy, I unfortunately couldn't see the store owner, although there was a little girl near the store. Oddly, unlike the real version of Shenmue 2, the dream incarnation came in what resembled a PS1 game case. At the time of the dream, Shenmue 2 had only been released for the Dreamcast and original Xbox, and it wasn't until the 21st August 2018 that we would see Shenmue 1 and 2 re-released, including on the PS4. Interestingly, Shenmue 3 was released on PS4 and PC only. In a dream I had on the 2nd of March 2022, I was at work and one of my colleagues was sending a bright pink piano that I recognised to be the Sega Toys Grand Pianist Piano for £587, but the high price seemed very off-putting. But it's not surprising I had a dream, as the day before 
I briefly was looking online at the Sega piano, and also it had been on my mind that I hadn't practiced playing my own piano for a while. In real life, the Sega piano goes for £300, but there was never a pink version from what I can tell. Even the Hello Kitty version wasn't pink. The pink colour in the dream, however, could represent unconditional love or desire in terms of my feelings towards pianos and playing them. In the dream I had on 19th April 2022, I was getting ready to leave the house for work, but I had to put some stuff away first, and I looked at a clock and it was 6.50, so I quickly finished what I was doing, and looking at the clock again, I saw that it was 7, causing me to panic as I should have left for work by now. What is quite remarkable about the dream is as soon as I woke up, I looked at my watch and it was 6.58, and bear in mind that I don't use an alarm, but I usually wake up around the same time. So the time in the dream was very close to the real time, although I don't know how long I continued to be asleep after seeing the time a second time in the dream. Therefore the dream may have presented the time I would typically wake up, since it was common for me, and so I happened to wake up around the time as I normally do. Thanks for watching. Have you had any interesting dreams lately? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Take care, dream big.